Hey there, book friend. I'm Chelsea Brandon, and today on Book Fairy Travels, we're headed out to reread books in Cheshire, Connecticut. Reread Books is a large independent bookstore, and they're going to be having a huge summer book sale and fair to celebrate the opening of their new annex. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video because at every new independent and used bookstore I visit here on Book Fairy Travels, I'm going to buy at least one book to book fairy to someone in our audience. So stick around to the end to hear how they enter that giveaway. And if you missed this one, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you are notified when we visit somewhere new and you can enter the next one. Ready to see an awesome new bookstore and find some new reads? Let's go on an adventure. <laughs> visiting Reread Books in Cheshire, Connecticut. They're celebrating opening their new annex, which is a second part of their store with an awesome little book fair with food trucks and live music. So let's go check it out. Reread Books is a very special used bookstore in Cheshire, Connecticut that has two spaces in the Watch Factory shops. Across those two spaces, there are thousands of books from classics to picture books and the environment of the shop is so joyful. A great, great, great Grandfather snail. Then he pulls up the pail, makes a most careful count to see if you've paid him the proper amount. Reread is focused on giving back to the community, not only by creating a welcoming place for people to find affordable quality used books, but also by hiring and training some of its area's most at-need residents, young adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. 80% of people with these disabilities are unemployed or underemployed. Finding inclusive, supportive workplaces can be very difficult, especially early in adulthood when that person has limited work experience. Reread Books aims to give kids in the Cheshire area an opportunity to gain that experience. The store is funded by a group called the Connecticut Community Empowerment Foundation, which was formed after a group of parents, caregivers, and other community leaders saw young adults losing their jobs due to the pandemic and who wanted to create acceptance of integrated workplaces. I had the opportunity to sit down with Reread's director, Hope Reinhart, and I asked her to share how the shop came to be. We opened Reread Books on November 5th. I used to work in transition at the high school, and it was very difficult to find uh, volunteer or work opportunities for the kids in the transition program. Mm -hmm. So for 10 years I had this idea that if we got donated books then we don't have to pay for inventory. And I started working with Andrea Costello. I got her a job at Quinnipiac and her dad was like just made it happen. And as for how the young adults who are volunteering, interning, and working at Reread Books are helping to keep it running, here's what Hope has to say. They alphabetize, they sanitize the books, they shelve the books, um, customer service, the register, money, they're doing everything. After spending the day at Reread Books yesterday, I can say without a doubt that anytime you make it out to this bookstore, you are going to have an incredible, joyful experience, find some really great reads at amazing prices, and support an organization that's really giving back to the Cheshire community. But getting to be there yesterday when it was Book Fair Day and seeing the community pour out for this event, and most importantly, seeing many of the new employees and summer interns there with their parents and grandparents and seeing how excited they were about getting to work at the shop, getting to hear from their parents and grandparents who were so proud of them and so excited, and then seeing the rest of the community come families with differently abled kids that were younger to get to now frequent this shop that shows an inclusive integrated workplace it's just a really cool thing and then my family arrived because I actually got there early to do some of this footage to talk to Hope and to talk to Bobby Bobby by the way guys is a fellow TikToker and he's launching his own YouTube channel so I will link that in the description but I got there a little early. And so then my family arrived and I got to have the experience of having my two boys there. I have a five-year-old and a three-year-old who got to hang out in the children's section and pick out their own new books. You can actually see them here just playing with toys and, and pulling books off the shelves, which is one of my favorite things to watch them do is build that real love of reading they already have so deeply. Just interact with everybody there. They got to get bookish cupcakes. You can see those here as well. They had Cat in the Hat inspired cupcakes. They both got one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish cupcakes. We had lunch. Um, the Olympic Taekwondo Academy, which is also in the Watchtower Plaza, um, was there. And so they got to chop wood in half with their little fist. The videos right here. Oh, my God, they were so cute. And now they all they can talk about is Taekwondo. We just had a really, really lovely day. And I just I can't wait to hear more about what Riri does as they go through the rest of their first year of opening. The fact that they've only been open for eight months and that they opened amid a pandemic is such an impressive thing. It's a really, really cool shop. So go check it out if you have the opportunity. Now, 
a couple of things. We can't finish any bookstore video without doing a book haul, right? Like, what did I get there? Because I certainly didn't walk away with nothing. And so these are the books that I bought yesterday. Um, I'll show you them real quick. The boys wanted me to show you their books first, though. And so Henry, who's my five-year-old, picked out um, this book, which is Show Me the Honey. It's a cat in the hat book about how bees make honey. And he's very excited about this. It's a level three reader, which is about where he is now. So I'm hoping that this kind of lets him practice reading on his own a book he hasn't memorized. And then my three-year-old picked out Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes, which I actually got to read to both of my boys and a couple other kids that were hanging out in the children's section while we were there, which was really sweet. So those are the two kids' books we got. And then I got two books for myself. One is Less by Andrew Sean Green. And this was actually Bobby, who I mentioned earlier, and who's working at Reread Books, is their social media manager. He pulled this out for me, and it looks really cute. So I'm excited to read this. And then I got Emily Giffith, the... Uh, Giffen, The Lies That Bind, which also looks like a good standalone. And Emily Giffen has some, some great stuff, so I'm excited to see what this is. The rest of that big stack that I showed you is actually I'm starting to build out our boys' middle grade shelf. So if you see our shelves behind here are pretty much all my books and some of my husband's books that way. But downstairs we have more bookshelves and they have a great section of picture books and then they have early chapter books that they're kind of in now. And so I'm starting to build a shelf for more middle grade, a little bit older chapter books that I think that they would love as they get older. And when I see them in good quality at great prices, I have to grab them. And so the first one I got is the first of the Bartimius trilogy um, by Jonathan Stroud, The Amulet of Samarkand. And so part of what I do, and if you're a parent, I highly recommend this, is check out Common Sense Media, and they will tell you the approximate age of a book, both Common Sense's expert opinion, parents' like crowdsourced opinion, and kids' crowdsourced opinions. The reason I think it's beneficial is especially when we get into middle grade books, and they're saying ages 8 to 12, the difference between an 8-year-old and a 12-year-old is vast, right? And so you want to make sure that you're giving your kids the appropriate book. And so when I'm buying books ahead for my kids as they get older, is I actually just look it up on Common Sense Media and then scribble a sticky note on the inside that says the age. And so this one is age 10 and up. Just a little tip if you're ever buying books as your kids are going to get older so you don't forget um, kind of what the age appropriateness is if you don't have the time to read it beforehand. I got the first two books um, of the Red Pyramid series, which we loved Percy Jackson. And so I'm hoping that these ones will be great as well. These are probably ones that my husband or I will read before the boys get old enough to read it just to check them out because we, we love Percy Jackson ourselves. I got the full trilogy. I love when I can find a whole set at a used bookstore because I just like to have the whole set right on hand. So when you finish one book, you can read the next one. So I found the whole set of the False Prince series. Um, which also looks really cute. And this is the one set that I got that's like age eight and up. So this is a little bit younger on middle grade. So we'll be there sooner, which is exciting. And then the last book I got, well, the last book almost that I got is Dragon Rider. Um, and this is just such a cute copy because it's got the holographic cover. Really excited for this one as well. But what are the other two books I bought? Well, this wouldn't be Book Fairy Travels if we didn't do some book fairying, right? And so I bought two more books that I wrapped up for a blind date with a book giveaway. And so whenever I visit a new bookstore, I'm gonna buy at least one book to give to someone in our audience who's supporting these videos, supporting these shops, and typically when I'm at an independent bookstore for new books, I won't do a blind date with a book. But with a used bookstore, it's kind of fun to get two books and to see what they are. So we have a YA paranormal romance book and a sci-fi techno thriller book. Both look really amazing. And so we're gonna do a giveaway for those. The way to enter, is to comment below your favorite local bookstore. Co just drop it in the comments and make sure you're subscribed to Book Fairy Travels. The giveaway is going to stay open until Saturday, June 12th at midnight. I'll pick a winner on Sunday the 13th and we'll, we can mirror that book anywhere in the U.S. So just comment with your favorite local bookstore in the U.S. I'm always looking to add to my list of new stores to go and so I'd love to hear what some of your favorites are and we will pick that winner to receive these two blind dates with a book. As I wrap up this video, I got a couple tips for you if you decide to make a trip to Cheshire to visit reread books, which I highly recommend. One of which is if you're not from the Cheshire area or you haven't been before, check out the Blackie's Hot Dog Stand in Cheshire. It is a local legend. It's a fantastic hot dog place. They make amazing relish and spicy mustard, oh, like a perfect little treat. And they actually had a food truck there yesterday, so I got to have a Blackie's Hot Dog, which I haven't had in years. And so that was a really great experience. Also, if you love the idea of an inclusive, integrated workspace for people of different abilities. Also check out Beans in Avon. That's B-E-A-N-Z. It's an inclusive coffee shop and it's delicious food, really great service, and the same concept of having people of all different abilities working together. 
overall, this is a shop that I recommend anybody to support. If you have books to donate, if you want to go find used books, or if you just want to be more involved in the community, head over there, check it out, support this organization. And I want to thank Reread Books so much for having me. Make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss our next travels to another amazing bookstore. And I'm going to leave you with some awesome words for hope on why you should come visit Reread Books. Thanks so much for being here. You get so much out of it. I mean, you're <laughs> donating, you're helping these kids get out into the community. Now, maybe not necessarily necessarily work here but mm -hmm. train to work somewhere else um, and it's just an all it's just a feel-good place <laughs>